Hello, welcome to my channel. As you may know, I never really was the popular kid in school. But now here I am, and I get to experience what it's like to be popular. And here you are, going to experience it with me. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I would say so. Enjoy the video, and I hope to see you at the end. Peace. So, it seems you got my message. Well, let's just say thanks for coming here. I appreciate you taking your time and everything. This, it means a lot. So, I'm guessing you're pretty curious on why I brought you here. And I'll get to that in a minute, but... Ugh, gosh, why is, why is this so hard? Anyways... I just wanted to say that I know you're really new to this school, and you've only been here for roughly a month, right? A month. And uh, let's just say there's a lot of things that I've kind of wanted to say to you, but for some odd reason, I was really, really nervous. And I wasn't really able to say anything for a relatively pretty long time which was only like two weeks, but still, that's a really long time in my eyes, especially <laughs> when dealing with this. So, um, yeah, I brought you here because I wanted to tell you that I, I, I really uh, appreciated you. Is, is that the way to say it? No? Okay, you seem really confused. Sorry, um, l let me start over. First off, hi, how are you doing? Okay, great. Uh, you know who I am, right? So-so? Okay. That's, and, I don't know, just something about you really just appeals to me, and, you know, I'm usually the type to be able to talk to someone about it, be like, hey, uh, I find you really, really attractive, but for some odd reason, I got really, really shy, and I wasn't really able to say anything for a very good while, let's just say. And so now my friends are pushing me to talk to you. So here I am talking to you and I am making a mess of myself. Sorry. But um, yeah, basically, in a nutshell, I, I like you. I like you a lot. And um, I was wondering if we could hang out sometime. You look so confused. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. I literally just poured out my feelings in less than two minutes, and it's probably a lot to take in. You barely know who I am, and yada yada yada, and yeah. Okay, so let me just say things a little slowly, okay? I'm sorry. That was really, really rushed. I just butterflies, I guess, but uh, yeah. Deep breath. <sighs> Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, I find you really attractive, and when you were in that same class as me, you were just honestly really fun to be around, and I haven't felt like this in a really, really long time. You know, like butterflies in your stomach, the nervous, you know, crush feeling. Haven't felt that since like middle school, and honestly, it's just so foreign to me, so I didn't really know how to control myself. So, yeah, I honestly don't know where this crush developed, but it's just like your vibes and everything was so perfect. And I, I just loved being around you and I felt so comfortable around you. You always treated me with so much respect and kindness. And you know, especially with where I'm at, that's really, really rare. I, I know it's like the norm to treat people nicely, but... You know, especially when you're in my circle, finding nice people is really, really uh, difficult, per se. So yeah, um, I hope you understood that a bit more. I, I know my first explanation was really, really rushed, and yeah, and still, this was also really rushed, but uh, I hope you understand it a bit more. Yes? Oh, okay. I, I just want to say that you don't have to accept anything that I propose. If you're not comfortable with the fact that some some sort of rando girl, kind of, is asking you out on a date, then I completely understand and I will respect that wholeheartedly. But I just, I, I just wanted to shoot my shot, you know? So, yeah. Do you want to 
go see a movie this weekend? Or maybe get something to eat? It's it's really up to you. If, if you do want to go, that would be great. But if you don't want to go, again, I respect that wholeheartedly. You... you want to go? Oh, um... Okay, that's that's really really cool of you. Uh, thank you so much. But uh, uh yeah, I uh, <clears throat> I was just ah, oh, that that's that's great news. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to process it. I know I need to calm my nerves a bit, but I haven't felt like this in so long. It's so weird. I've I thought I'd be able to control myself, but God, it's just something about you really just gets to me, you know. I, I don't know if this is, like, really corny or not, but it just seems like you're my soulmate. I feel some sort of connection to you, and that connection is making me all fuzzy, in a sense. And, whew, let's just say I don't really know how to uh, handle all of these emotions at once. It really does feel like one of those first middle school or elementary school crushes. Ah, it's it's... So weird to feel that right now, especially at my ripe old age. I mean, I'm not old, but you know what I mean. More mature. There we go. But yeah, do you, um, how do you feel about everything? I know I'm yapping a lot, so I kind of want to hear what you have on your mind. Oh, you, you find me pretty? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm really glad that you do. Uh, what in particular do you find pretty about me? Oh gosh. Um, wow, that's that's a lot to take in, and uh, whew, that's a bit overwhelming. Hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've heard you know that I'm pretty a good amount of times, but hearing it from someone like you is kind of it. It hits differently, you know? It's not the same as someone that you don't really know or have a connection with saying that you're pretty. It's really nice of them, but it's not the same as someone that you actually kind of care about, you know? When you hear that from people that you have in your inner circle, it's just, oh, wow, <laughs> thanks. That definitely helps me feel a little, a little better about myself. I mean, yeah, it's just... Uh, let's just say being quote-unquote popular is, it's very competitive for some odd reason. There's a lot of people uh, that feel threatened by the fact that I am popular and quote-unquote pretty. People think I'm some sort of threat and it's just like, no, I'm just some regular person going to school and just, you know, people seem to know about me. That's all. I mean... It doesn't make me a different person than anyone else. Literally everyone else in this school is the same as me. I always hated this whole competition mode that some people have because they see someone who is, you know, attractive. It's stupid. I, I don't think anyone should be, you know, competing. Like, what are we even competing for? Validation? I mean, it's so stupid. I don't think anyone should do that. It's It's dumb. I've acknowledged that with my friends and my inner friend group. And there was literally this one time where a girl got mad at me because I said that we shouldn't be competing with one another. And she said, well, being popular is competing. I'm like, what? What is that? No. God, some people at this school drive me nuts, but it is what it is. But you know who doesn't drive me nuts? You, for sure. You bring a lot of ease to me, if that makes any sense. Well, yeah, I mean, I know I'm really hectic. I talk a lot. I yap for years and years, and here you are just listening to me and just knowing the fact that someone like you is hearing me out. It really does calm me down and bring me a lot of peace. Yeah, I mean, I, um... I really do care about you, even though I really don't know you. I don't know. Just something about you just makes you a very special person to me. So, yeah. Huh? You're worried about what people will say? Why is that? 
You think I should date someone popular? Ugh. Listen, and listen carefully. I don't care about popularity. If you're a good person, I would love to be friends with you. If you have a connection with me, I would love to further things with you. And here we are. We have a connection of some sort. I mean, I hope. Uh, I feel a connection. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, I hate the notion that people think that popular people should be dating other popular people for the news, the drama, the Instagram clicks. That stuff literally <sighs> icks. I literally feel icks. But no. I truly believe that the beauty is not in how many people know you. It's in your heart. And I can tell. You have exactly what I need. <laughs> Besides, dating someone popular comes with a lot of drama. And I did not come to this school for drama. I came here for an education and possibly meeting some good friends and... Maybe someone special. <laughs> and yes, I'm hinting at you, obviously. I mean, I know we just met, but I know we're going to make something really, really special between us. <laughs> you might be curious on how I know that. I just, I just do. Something about you just tells me that I'm going to be perfectly fine by your side. And I hope you feel the same way towards me. So, with that said, what movie do you want to see this weekend? <laughs>